today, mental health is an undeniably serious issue. But am I the only one who is sick and tired of hearing professional athletes complain about their feelings? They have the easiest jobs on earth. They use their bodies all day long to make money. They never have to use their brains for complex tasks. They are legitimately living like Ice Age hunter-gatherers, just laughing, chilling, and playing around. It's one thing for a 20-year-old chick like Simone Biles to act this way. And she's extremely brave for doing so. But 30-year-old UFC fighters need to pull themselves up by the bootstraps. Against all odds, Robert Whitaker is going to lose this weekend to Drickus Duplessis because he is a weak-minded man who lacks discipline. Oh, I bet you're already getting mad. Robert is the best. The Reaper beat Izzy. Bobby Knuckles is the best middleweight. Izzy just has his number. <laughs> Bobby Knuckles? More like hairy palms. I can just go upstairs and go back to doing what I was doing before. This Hardcore masturbating. Whitaker is a degenerate coomer who practices hardcore masturbation. Oh, I know you're going to say, he's just joking. It's Aussie humor. No, it's not. Note here, Robert's aggressive fap hairline. It's one thing to bust one out to get rid of some morning wood. But Rob prefers to masturbate for hours after he finishes press obligations that is a low impulse mindset bobby knuckles more like skyrim knuckles with early onset carpal tunnel syndrome from excessive computer gaming i played this level of modern warfare 2 so many times i consider makarov to be a personal role model but you would never see me nostalgia gaming xbox today it's one thing to enjoy video games in your late 20s and 30s, but it should be a guilty pleasure. You should not talk about it publicly. In fact, you should pretend you don't play games. And if people do talk about it publicly, you should mock them. Who cares about being a hypocrite? Only you should know you're playing games. Don't let your wife and kids see you play games. Your wife should think you're in the garage working on wood or welding something. Okay, Rob, not playing a 15-year-old modded Skyrim. Bobby Knuckles, more like Konnichiwa, Robert-san. Ooh. Yes, Robert Whitaker is an anime enjoyer. You thought Izzy was bad? He's 10 times worse. What anime are you watching, mate? Uh, Ippo Makanochi. Oh, okay. Like, like Ippo no. Is that the one you're talking about? That's a, that's a pretty older one. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you're not watching Bucky. <laughs> Bucky's pretty good. Okay. Bobby has a podcast, and half of the episodes are him talking about things like Steam Decks and Ubisoft drops and what he's watching, what anime he's watching, and what game he's playing. Bro, if you are an adult man and you play more than one game every five years or watch a show in its entirety, what are you doing with yourself? What What have you been playing that you're so excited about? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what I've been playing is Zelda Tears oh, of the Kingdom. Ah, oh, yes! Tears oh, of the Kingdom. Ah, oh, yes! Oh. Lil bro. You realize you are making Jordan Levitt look like an alpha male. He reads like five books a week and does book reviews for like a 30 viewer audience. Guys, I want you to get over there and sub to the Monkey King right now. Let's show him some love. He's got heavy hands. He's willing to use them. He's willing to slam motherfuckers. He's willing to grapple. Hello. Welcome to this week's reading vlog, which will cover June 25th. Up through July 1st, we are reading A Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall this week. Jordan Levitt is a real man. He is more manly than Robert Whitaker throwing jabs with his right hand glued to his face, petrified of a man with unilateral gyno who dyes his hair pink and 
pukes in his dog's mouth. Robert didn't beat Izzy. He got flatline KO'd and then had a lackluster, boring performance in the rematch. I do not want to see the trilogy. Drickus, do whatever you need to do to get this nerd out of the top of the division. Bobby Knuckles, more like depressed Knuckles. Like, I didn't want to do anything. I was demotivated to do anything. I was just, I was just tired, mate. I was just tired of it all. Depression is real, you know, and, and it doesn't matter who you are. You can get depressed and you can feel like you're, you're falling down a pit of despair. I wonder why Robert is dealing with mental health issues in his late 20s and 30s when he's a professional athlete who is exercising and eating extremely healthily. Maybe because you're playing games until 4 a.m. and f fapping the anime and then you can't fall asleep because you can hear the Australian parakeets chirping as your kids get up and your eyes burn from blue light exposure and your wife has to make their sandwiches all on her own. You're laying there having an existential crisis and picturing Izzy's hook connecting with your goatee. Another thing. Who the fuck is rocking a goatee in their late 20s and 30s? Shave that shit. It's not 2004 and you're not a literally IT guy. You are not an IT guy, Robert Whitaker. You can't wear a goatee. But guess what? Robert Whitaker doesn't even like being a professional athlete. Bobby, I have one piece of advice for you. Stop using that big brain of yours. It's letting you down. Stop thinking about your emotions. Go to bed on time. Stop playing video games. Stop cooming to anime. Stop putting off your jogs so you can see what the new mod is like on fucking Dragon Age Inquisition. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.